Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every week. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. Happy New Year to everybody, and before we get into some NFL action for January the 9th, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP Club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. So, in the last game of the regular season, and there are still some playoff positions up for grabs, and seating left to be determined. So let's take a look at some of the games here. Chicago and Minnesota, we're not going to look at. The first game we want to look at is the Cincinnati Bengals and the Cleveland Browns. In this a AFC North battle, the Browns host the Bengals. You see Cleveland is a, is a 5.5 point favorite with odds of 1.37 3.078 with an over under 38.5. The score prediction has the Bengals, though, in a road upset by a 32-22 score with 54% level of confidence. The power ranking indicator shows Cincinnati is at plus 25, while Cleveland is at plus 10. If you're looking at the over and under, you can see that Cincinnati has been over in 5 out of the last 6 games, and Cleveland has been involved in games under in 4 out of the last 6, so this is a good indication to avoid the over and under. Cincinnati is burning hot at the moment, winners of their last 3 and 4 out of their last 6, while Cleveland is on a 3 game losing streak and they have lost 4 out of their last 6. If you take a look at the volatility oscillator to see how stable the two teams have been, you can see that Cincinnati is not very stable at all, meaning that they're very inconsistent according to their favorite underdog status, while Cleveland is relatively stable and relatively consistent at plus 7. Let's take a look at the move in the money line if there has been any. This is the money line for the Browns. You can see it opened at minus 1.8. And there was some movement in here, up, down, up, down a little bit. But, and now it's currently at what? At about 1.37. So there you have it for there as far as the change in the movement of the money line. I do like this game in favor of Cincinnati. I believe that they will um, take a win on this one on the road. For some reason, I just like Cincinnati on the road in this one. Cleveland has not been playing very well. Cincinnati has. I like Cincinnati to win on the road. Green Bay and Detroit. We're not going to look at that one. Green Bay has everything wrapped up. Indianapolis and Jacksonville. Not that one either. Pittsburgh and Baltimore. That could be an interesting matchup, but that's not really a very important matchup for this game for this week. So we'll go down through the rest of these games. A lot of unimportant games as far as the standings go. This one here is one that is of, of a bit more importance. The New England Patriots and the New England Patriots against the Miami Dolphins. And in this one here in the AFC East battle, um, New England enters as a 7.5 point road favorite. With odds of 1.34 to 3.22 and the over under is a relatively low 39.5. The score prediction, though, has Miami by a 27 to 23 margin with almost 90% level of confidence, 89.3. Miami's burning hot down at the moment. They had won their previous five and lost in a blowout to Tennessee 34 to 3 in their last one. While New England is average up, they're coming off a two game losing streak and they are 4 and 2 over their last six. If you take a look at the over and under, you can see that. New England has been in games over the line three out of their last six, while Miami has been under in four out of their last six. So because of that discrepancy, I would avoid the over-under in this one. But let's take a look at the power rankings indicator and a few other things. New England was at plus 31 as of December 6th, and they've been on a continuous downward trend since then. They're at plus 20. And look at Miami on an upward trend ever since November 7th. They are continuing to rise, and they're at plus 22. If you take a look at the stability factor, the volatility oscillator, you can see here that both teams have been performing pretty consistently according to their favorite underdog status at plus 7 to plus 6. Let's take a look at the money line, if there's been any movement in the line. It opened at 1.41. This is the, the New England line, and you see now it's currently at 1.34. So there has been some movement in the line, more towards New England's favor. And I do think that New England will win, but I do like um, the Dolphins to cover. I'm looking at this as like a three or four point margin of win. New Orleans and Atlanta, that's not a very important matchup for this week. The Jets and the Bills. San Francisco and Los Angeles. And this should be a good battle in the um, 
NFC West right here. The 49ers come in average up. Winners of four out of their last six. The Rams have won their last five. Five and one over their last six. You can see that the Rams are favorites by four and a half points with odds of 1.45 to 2.692. And the over-under is set at 44.5. The score prediction has the Rams in a blowout 36 to 19 with a 71% level of confidence. I don't think it's going to be a blowout of that proportion, but we're going to take a look at some of the other things here. Let's take a look at the over-under. The 49ers have been in games under the line in their last three, and the Rams in two out of the last three, so I kind of like the under on this one. Uh, the score prediction has it quite a bit over the line, so it might hesitate to bet on this, but if I were to bet, I would probably go with the under. Um, the power rankings indicator shows the 49ers are at plus 16, while the Rams have been stable at plus 28 for the last couple of weeks. Take a look at the volatility oscillator. Have the two teams been consistently performing? And kind of, not so much. A little bit more consistent for the Rams at plus 5. The 49ers at plus 2. Take a look at... If there's been any movement in the line, and there has been here. Look at this. It started at 1.4. There's a sharp movement in the line right here. And then it's back up to 1.45. In the end, though, I do think that this is going to be a good game for the Rams. I like them to win. I like them to cover. Seattle and Arizona. In this game here, the Seahawks are just pretty much playing out the string, while the Cardinals have something to play for for playoff seeding. Both teams are average status at the moment, uh, both coming off of a win. Seattle is 3-3 three three over the last six, and you can see Arizona also 3-3 three three over the last six, and they're coming off of a three-point win over the Cowboys on the road. The Cardinals are a home favorite by 6.5 points, with odds of 1.34 to 3.22, and you can see the over-under here set at 48.5. The score prediction has it just slightly under the line, 33 for the Cardinals to 14 for Seattle in a blowout. But the confidence in prediction is just a little over 55%, 55.5, so it's not a very high level of confidence. If we take a look at the power ranking indicator, you can see the Cardinals have it on a steady downward trend. They haven't been playing very well lately. That's there at plus 19. And Seattle just playing out the string. You can see they have dropped to plus 4. The stability factor, you can see on the volatility oscillator that Arizona very, very inconsistent as of late, pretty much because they haven't been playing very good ball lately. Now, they did win last week on the road as a road underdog, so that also made them inconsistent, even though it was a win. So they just haven't been very consistent according to their favorite underdog status. But as far as this matchup here, I don't see there's any way that Seattle is going to win. They have nothing to play for. I like the Cardinals to win in a high-scoring game. The last game we want to look at is the Chargers and the Raiders. In this matchup here, you see the Chargers come in average stats while the Raiders are burning hot. The Raiders have won their last three and four out of their last six. And the Chargers are coming off of a win, and they are three and three over their last six. The Chargers are a favorite on the road by three and a half points with odds of 1.59 to 2.352. The over-under is set at 49.5. The score prediction, although only at 34.4%, has the Chargers by 12 points in the game totaling only 40, so that would go well under the line. We'll see here. The Chargers have been involved in games over the line in five out of the last six, while the Raiders have been in games under the line in the last three. The discrepancy there tends me to kind of avoid the over-under bet in this one. It's just too hard to predict which way it's going to go. The power ranking indicator shows that the two teams are pretty much dead even. You can see here the Raiders are plus 18, while the Chargers are plus 17 and going in opposite directions. The stability factor shows here that neither team has been very stable, right? I mean, 0 to minus 2, so neither team is performing particularly well according to their favorite underdog status. One last thing to look at is that any change in the money line. This is the Chargers money line, which opened that minus one point. 7.3, and you can see that there's been quite a bit of movement. You're up, down, up, down, and now it is up, and it's stabled out at 1.592. I do like the Chargers to win this one on the road, win and cover the spread, but I would avoid betting the over-under in this one.
So there you have it. Those are all the games that we want to take a look at for January the 9th. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.